I'd like to call to order the Commission for Women's Meeting for July 18, 2019. Uh, let's please have a roll call. Okay. Um, so wait, am I supposed to not go through all these names? Go through all the names and then we'll have to see who's here. Okay. Albertine Allen. Bonita Schaefe. Shot here. Dahlia. Here. Joanne Inquist. Kay Hill. Christina Isabel here. Nicole Florick. Charlene Livesey. Faye Moore here. Council is on a Sean Fitzpatrick. Great. All right, so we, we don't have a quorum right now, so um, we will not be able to approve the minutes of the prior meeting. Uh, if you'd like to take a look at them and see if there's any editing needed, I will take note of that, but we'll have to approve it once we have a quorum. So we'll spend a couple minutes looking at that. Joanne and Joanne Yay, Joanne is here. here. Oh, All right, good. We now have a quorum. Oh, good. <laughs> That's what we say. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll look over the minutes, and so now we have a quorum, we'll be able to prove them if so desire. motion that we accept the minutes. I don't see any correction. I, I just see a spelling error of my name on the first page. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, my name is spelled wrong to the left, so I thought it Well, we should fix it. Yeah, we'll fix it. Yeah. I now have all the correct spellings right here in front of me, so I'll be able to fix the spellings here. All right. I don't have an H in my name, so let's just say. Okay. No, it's spelled right on here. Oh, true. Well, yeah. and that's page three. And page mm -hmm. three is spelled differently, so do I have to... Well, but I vary, you know. Yeah. <coughs> Second. Okay. Sorry. Yes, I did. <laughs> Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, thank you. Uh, the treasurer's report. Uh, so uh, Charlene uh, did email me, and she said she requested the information from the comptroller's office, but she did not get it in a timely amount of time before she had to leave out of town. Mm -hmm. So she could not present the report because she doesn't have a computer out of town. Uh, she says she can confirm our current balance is 24166.71. And then she will complete a report over the weekend. Like I said, she did not get the information early enough, even though it was requested. So um, I'm just letting you know what the balance is and then we'll have to approve the budget at the next meeting. Um, old business is the uh, Women in the Arts event, and first I think I'd like to have Christina update us on the, well we had now two meetings since the last one, but let's talk about the first one where we have notes for, we have a separate packet of notes for that. <laughs> yes, okay. Just highlight them. Yeah, I'm just going to highlight where we are now. <laughs> um, uh, you don't want to use these notes from the other meeting? Um, those are from the June 6th meeting. Right, because we haven't discussed these. We did last meeting. Oh, we did. We just didn't have the notes. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, you do not have the meetings from our meeting this week. Correct. So I will submit those. Um, Bonnie, um, Joanne, Dahlia, and I um, have met twice, actually. We met on Monday the 16th. Um, to discuss the Women Making a Difference fundraiser, which we have now returned to um, celebrating women in the arts as the title. Um, um, yesterday, we went to look at two different facilities. We looked at Traditions, um, which was a really lovely event space. They've done a good job um, renovating that space. And we also looked at Barker Mansion. <coughs> So after, we, we basically decided we needed to see the location to really determine what this event was going to be, even though we had the meeting in, um, on June 6th where we were, had a different focus. We got very excited about the I idea of the Celebrating Women in the Arts again and doing something at the Duman Theater <coughs> in October and creating a um, more of a performance, a variety show, make, a, make the event more fun 
try to engage the peop more people in that. And as this is something that I brainstormed on yesterday, not something that we've talked about yet. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering if we do do a forty-five dollar, you know, um, fee for this, or you know, ticket price, and we have food and a cash bar. Um, what if we opened the show up? at a lower price, so then we had more people that could come. If the Dunlin Theater can seat 300 or some, then let's you know, engage more people in this opportunity. So like $45 VIP, has the food, you know, cash bar, and then at the show time, we open it up for $20 tickets for show only. It's just an idea. Mm -hmm. well, that we way, talk it over with them, and um, and so I'm in conversation with Jeffrey. Um, he's really busy, and I actually I have a show this weekend, so um, we're gonna talk again. Um, he's very excited about the idea. Mm -hmm. This way, if we do open that twenty dollar ticket, say we get some kids to perform, like maybe since we have funded so many. Um, K through 12 education programs with Michigan City High School. Why don't we have the Michigan City High School someone perform, choir, or you know, get more people involved um, in, in the performance as well as like Judy Joseph, uh, Bunny Fisher, um, Michigan City Moves will do some a dance thing. So Soul Steppers will be involved. So are you thinking that the the bar would be put away before we have the show? Because again, I'm, I'm you know, bringing up the fact that most activities do not occur with kids that are, if there's alcohol. Any theater well it has a bar and does not serve to kids. Right, right. They don't serve to kids. Correct. Usually, if if it is a school function of any kind, it's you know, not a like school function. No, no, no excuse alcohol. me. If you're if you're yeah. going to have some, yes. you know, if you're like the choir or something, or you said, you know, performance by kids from the school. Um, I know the Boys and Girls Club, we never permit right. it. The never alcohol have. has to be separate. You have to have it some kind of way where they are nowhere near. So I don't think the performers will be, yeah, they won't be where the rest the of public. the crowd is. I mean, and... and but are you talking food and alcohol? I wonder we if would we do a cocktail hour that would oh, have okay. food, right? Okay. That is the VIP time, mm -hmm. right? Then the, and those tickets are $45. Okay. And then for an hour, hour and a half, however long we, mm -hmm. we feel, then doors open, then there's a show. Oh, okay. And in this show, we get to talk about how what the Women's Commission does, how much funding we've given out, and then we mm -hmm. have these performances. We make it a really engaging, fun event, and not just an average, ordinary fundraiser. Right. We're really focusing on um, people here that are really making interesting art happen. Mm -hmm. So by the so. time the kids arrive, the alcohol time is... It's over and the alcohol is out. The food and everything will be over by the time the actual right. event begins. And they Correct. can rope it off. They rope off that area yeah. already. The bar area. Correct, because it's back already because that's where the far end of the yeah. of the porch. And then they can probably come also, in another way too. Yeah, there's plus yeah. there's a door into the house. <clears throat> As soon as you get in, you know, you could go through. It's only a little skinny door. But you could go in there, and then you're in the left aisle of the house, of the audience. So it could be that that's roped off, that if you're only there for the show, you go right in that door, and then you're, you're uh, you know, 50 right. feet or so from, at least, from the bar. Yeah, but, the, the, but I don't think, the, the performers aren't going to be part of the... The crowd. Exactly, so there would be but no But their parents could there. come. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, they're paying $20 a ticket. I don't think kids will pay $20 a ticket, so I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know these things about the, the you know, because I'm in the theater world, there's always the open bar all the time, <laughs> you know, and um, mm -hmm. the bar... Maintains well, this is Indiana too. <laughs> well, explain a little bit more about the show that we're planning to have. Like, like the, the, I don't know if we all know about the structure of the whole show. The structure of the show. Well, before it was going to be three awards, and now we're going to give one award. Is that correct? So yeah. Okay. So now it, the show is a show. I mean, the whole event. The, the citizen. We will give away instead of focusing. We decided it was too challenging to. 
focus in a short amount of time on giving awards to people in health and human services, entrepreneur, business leadership, environmental, all those categories because we don't have a, a call to find the best people or to you know really reach the community to you know get in, um, feedback and assistance in finding who's really doing vibrant work as an entrepreneur here in Michigan City. So we've kind of going to narrow that down to just a citizenship award. Um, and so we will have this citizenship award it will be part of this evening of entertainment. Um, we'll have an MC that will kind of introduce each piece and then Dahlia will probably talk and say, talk about all the good work that we do at the Women's Commission. I would really love to have a video introduction of whoever the person is um, for the citizenship award. Am I allowed to say who we're considering? I don't think you should yeah, at this point. No. Okay, terrific. Um, so then we would get interviews with people that have worked with them and how they've been involved in the city, mm -hmm. maybe interview them as and well. That's going to be a September. October 19th October. is the date that we're looking at. Um, did you at least get a possibility for that date from uh, the, the doing skater? Yes, yes, he just, I sent him the date and he hasn't confirmed yes or no yet. Okay. He's, he said he was pretty busy and they're putting in a new um, sound enhancement install all day. So, um, but he was very excited. So oh, they're they're open to everything. Yeah. They really are. Yeah, absolutely. So then, my understanding is that after these awards are presented and a little recap of the Women's Commission, then we're going to have performers of all different kinds: music, dance, spoken word. So spoken word would be great. Yeah. Um, and that is not something I'm. I know that's going on in Michigan City, but it's got to be going on. Somewhere. It is. Oh, so I don't know any main groups, but I do know some spoken word oh, artists. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be great, I think, if we can. Yeah, and for the 19th, I'll, I'll see if I can find someone. Okay. Or I'll see if I don't know. Yeah, or if anyone wants to send additional names of performers, because basically you've got to see who's available, too. On At the day. last one, Carnessa Carnes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's still around, but mm -hmm. she had some is she writes poetry so right. do you want to see that right so that like that would be nice i think exactly what you're talking about yeah great so now you're saying that there's two level of tickets <coughs> potentially potentially yeah. okay potentially. you haven't decided for yeah. sure yet. yeah yeah because i feel like we shouldn't just be reaching out to the people that normally go to all the fundraising events in the city. We really want people to know what the Women's Commission is about, mm -hmm. that we are reaching out, that we want people to know that they can come to us if there's an interesting opportunity that we can support, we want to support it. And so if we can bring in people at, a, at another level of ticket price, then we might be able to have some more, mm -hmm. more impact. I mean, we have great impact, actually, if looking at all that we've done and being a great impact, but we could do more. Yeah. Great idea. Oh, but there's a lot to do <laughs> to get this going. So um, some of the things that I was brainstorming on today was just looking at the budget of what those costs would be because we should get a photographer, we should get a video person, and then the video person to do the interview thing. So um, I'll kind of do a, a, a rough, estimate of what that could be and then maybe we can um, divide up the duties yeah we're gonna need help with yeah. all kinds of Absolutely. different things yeah yeah <clears throat> and it is fairly you know it's happening fast mm -hmm. October 19th would be fast it's, right. I mean, mm -hmm. August September October so. that was a good idea though with the two Maybe get more people to come. Yeah, and, and, and people should know that normally it's twenty dollars to get to the Dunes Theater. So you know maybe that'll open it up to people who will be more willing in the future yeah. to attend it. I mean, why not create a good variety show that happened every year? You know, I mean, it would be really exciting to get the young people involved in something like that as well as people here in the community. Well, did you see there. the last one? Because because we did have no, I was. Yeah. Um, I was performing. Well, the last two times we've had the, you know, the steppers, yeah. and they mm -hmm. perform, always perform. But but the high schools have wonderful. I mean, we'll still have the social steppers, but I think mm -hmm. we can open it up, which would sure. then make more people want to come. Another point is I think we were planning to pay the performers a stipend so that, you know, they don't have to do the volunteer time. So yeah. that I think that's a good call yeah. is to give them something for doing this. Yeah. 
So that's where we are at the moment. Thank you. So are we plan do we have another date where we're gonna get together and talk about this? Do you we should maybe do that, yes. Do well, we you know, we just wait for the next meeting in the, August. The maybe retreat. The retreat. Okay, the retreat. Yeah, the retreat's okay. coming up. Okay. And and by that August time, you you may have contacted some more people. Yeah. May have been able to take some of those steps off your list. Yep. And and let us know what needs to happen. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's amazing if if you make some phone calls, you could yeah. jack some things off. It feels yep. really good. Yep. <clears throat> So maybe we'll have kind of a confirmation from theater and an idea if they're charging us anything, as well as maybe a few performer commitments is what I'll look for. But and if the theater could do a small thing. That's what oh, I was yeah, thinking. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they'll just be like, a good show. up a, a, a musical, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, very nice. Uh, the Women's Equality Day, so okay, Joanne, we just re made, recap what, what that is. We have made some changes, too, yeah. And uh -huh. Equality Day is the day we celebrate the passage of the 19th Amendment and uh, the fact that women couldn't vote. So it's a major day, and we've celebrated it. Oh, goodness, I'm trying to remember. Is this the fifth year? It's been, Sounds we've like done it consistently. Since we've started. And, uh, and this year, uh, and it gets bigger each time, we have a good turnout. Uh, uh, the Scartosi, I did contact Scartosi's, and um, they were able to find, because I was trying to get this information from Char, and you know, she's out of town, even though we are communicating. And uh, so I do have a list of the things that we served last time. Um, and so I, uh, and I'll present a budget now so I can get approval to move on. At this point, I, I think you're going. I, I, that's, I think we need to get in the habit of getting our budgets approved before we move. <laughs> and um, so I, I think we can move ahead on this. I've I've changed the um, the the. F the program a great deal uh, after checking into and, and I had read uh, working um, is you know it, uh, famous Chicago book actually so I had read it before and I really saw some possibilities because I knew it had changed to a musical and I thought it was going to work out just fine but it's too much work it really is it's too much work to transfer all that over here so what I did instead was I thought about what organizations we have in Michigan City that are um, pretty much female started and the one that came to mind of course the Save the Dunes um, the amazing history of that organization coming out of the south side of Chicago and the women were really the founders of Save the Dunes and and have had historically have had very fine uh, executive directors, female executive directors. There were a couple of men, male directors as well, but we're back to a, fem a female, and uh, uh, she's absolutely outstanding. Uh, Natalie, Natalie Johnson, young woman, um, very well educated and uh, very well spoken and very dynamic. And I just feel that there couldn't be a better speaker. So, at this time, I think it'll work out just fine. She's very what excited. Day? It's September 4th. It's the same as I had last time. September 4th, that has not changed. Um, and um, I think we're pretty much set up. I did, uh, I do have, um, I'm trying to cut back on cost as much as possible because we have a lot of things ahead of us. And, um, and we do provide the, the luncheon. And looking over um, that and the fact that the only thing I have to purchase at this time are plates, I think I might have something I can contribute to. Um, so I don't have to do that much purchasing. And just I, to recap, it's going to be at the Lubeznik Center. It'll be at the Lubeznik Center. And it's Center, a free cost, free, free, free to anyone to attend. Yes, it's, it's 11.30 to 1 o'clock. And it's not just for women. We've always had a number of men attending through the years. I know my husband always looked forward to it, as well as other men were there. And uh, it's always been a delightful time. Sometimes there are, you know, 
there were some interesting, funny programs and, and mixed programs of various kinds. This time it will be a speaker, and, and if you've ever heard Natalie, you know that she'll do a great job. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I, I think we'll have just about the same menu we had last time. And probably, and I and I will get um, uh, table coverings. I will borrow those so we don't have to pay for them. They're expensive if you if you rent them. Mm -hmm. And so I think I, I I call the church today. I'll get those. Um, they say we can seat a hundred. It's more like eighty. I think a hundred is is kind of crowded mm -hmm. in that room. They said she had to Do you remember 10 to a table, Faye? Mm -hmm. I remember 8. I don't remember 10. 8. Normally it's 8, mm -hmm. but it's still crowded. Yeah. I know it was crowded last time. Oh, and we had about 80 people last time, I think. So, um, and I could present a more uh, exact um, budget if you want, but I, I would like a motion to be able to spend about $1,200, which I think is a very good price for considering all we're doing. Well, in what, fact, we paid that the first year, I remember, hmm. about five years ago. What did we spend last year? About, I don't know. I don't know the total. I don't have it. I do know that the food was $984 last year. And that included dessert and beverage. And then the additional money, what would that go to? I said that would be the, you know, the, the limit in case we had more people. I don't remember, do we ask people to RSVP yes. yet? Yes. But of course, People will show up without that, correct? We did. Mm -hmm. We had that last time as well. We had some oh, people show up. So that I, that brings me to like I the electronic yeah, invitation would probably be much better. An yeah. Invite invitation. It doesn't have. It, it could be like the Google the right, however form, or they just say they're coming. Oh, yeah. that one here. Oh, the two. You now the two hundred for the for the Lebesnik Center. Well, not to exceed. So you're, you're requesting. How do they get thirty five? That's for. Oh, oh, I, I see. I was going to say. So we could just say, say not to exceed twelve hundred dollars. Is that what you're that's saying? That's what I said. She wants mm -hmm. to. Do. So not to exceed. She's finally mm -hmm. going to spend it all. So. Is it there a second? Like last year it was so eleven eighty four. Um, I think. Did you make your own motion? Nope, I did not. I said right. I would like someone would, to move. someone make the motion, please. Would not be appropriate for me to make a motion. So I'll make a motion for the um, 2019 Women's Equality Day budget not to exceed $1,200. Second. second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. I will say the one thing that is bothering me is plastic bottles, plastic water. I, you know how diff. I have looked all over. You can't even get bottles that are not plastic of any kind. I looked at all kinds of drinks. Well, it's ridiculous. We can look into this. Like, I can probably bring 12 mugs. Like, I am not kidding. I have so many mugs. I get mugs from all kinds of things, like three mugs at this event, that event. If we all brought 10 mugs and people can just pour water into it, that would be fine with me. Mugs. I'm like a, well, I have, I have a ton of coffee mugs. You know, just like bring, we all bring glasses that well, we're all going to use. pictures, maybe. But where are you going to pour it into it, is what I'm saying. Pour it into it. Pour it into it. Paper, paper cups, plastic glasses, or? No, I, yeah. I, well, I was thinking of a picture on a table, and on each table. And so we wouldn't. Straws? <laughs> I mean, like, no, uh, no. What are you no, pouring no, it into? No, into into glasses. cups. Okay, cups. Uh, cups. And you can get paper cups. All right. Oh, yeah. You can get recyclable cups. Absolutely. 
We could probably rent pictures at uh, Cable Lens. I have about four myself, I think. I think I have two. And we also, you and I both have the dispenser, the water dispensers. I don't have one of those. Mm -hmm. But I have 20 glasses that I only used once for that Syrian dinner. Oh, so I have lots of back glasses. in the box, yeah. so I can bring those. I have, I have lots of glasses. That's what I'm saying. We all have so I'm saying I Oh, when mugs. you say mugs, though, I didn't know what Well, you I had coffee mugs because I have like so many of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. So no, I'm not mugs. worried about the drinking utensils. Okay. I'm that worried about paper. Yeah, I'm yeah worried well, about I don't want to get plastic bottles either. If we can avoid that, that would be great. So And that that was on that was on the list. That Let's was gather how many pictures we have. Mm hmm But then I, I have, have to get two. We have to fill them. And and bring ice. Um the beverages are always the hardest part. Anytime I've ever planned anything. Yeah. The beverages are always the most cumbersome things to deal with. So that Scartosis doesn't supply us? Yeah, they supply bottles of water, plastic bottles of okay. water. No, gotcha. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're doing that, we should make a point to list that as on the, you know, that this is, I don't know, because that seems like a big statement on, um, you know, plastic reduction. So oh, I always mention that. If the lead no. goes without plastic, I always mention it to the group. We've had candidate forms where we did not supply plastic water bottles, yeah. and we had a dispenser of water, and I went out of my way to explain why it was that way. Oh, you have to do that. Yeah. It's just a habit. Yeah. Well, so we approved your budget, so okay. I think that's good. And, um, since that's coming up before our other event, so we need to talk a little bit about the invitations and the e-bites and et cetera. I don't for, think we need for, it for, for my group. For yes, my, for the Women's Equality Day. That's all. That's just about ready, and that's going an email to. We have a list of people from last year. Correct. Plus, the league has over two hundred okay. list. So that, that list is going to have to get and populated and. You know, we have to carefully email because if you do 200 people on a list, it might, you know, not. Well, it doesn't have to all be at once, yeah. Absolutely. Right. And then if you want me to design an RSVP form on the Google Doc so that we can, you know, RSVP. That would be good. Why don't you wait till we get uh, uh, shares working on the, on the flyer? Uh, we I've, I've changed it like three times, and she will have access to a computer tomorrow. I can have a so, Google RSVP. Remember mm -hmm. how I just send the link and people click on it and then just say they're coming? Right. And that way we know well, who's coming and emails. Last time I was, when we did this last time, though, I didn't get that information right away. And I really need it right away. I can make the Google Doc before you finish the flyer. But I didn't get who responded to it. I didn't find out who responded well, to it. Well, I can put you on the... You get the responses. Okay. You know, list. Yeah. Well, it's listed differently on the flyer, so I'll let you know. What do you mean? Oh, I see. Yeah. We have the response differently on the flyer. So you have the response on the flyer going to you, mm -hmm. directly to you? I think you should have that. Yeah. Yeah. I use my phone and my email address. If you are emailing I have a line this to people, I have a line specifically for the league. I do not use that phone, except for the. League. If we are sending this by email, it's very easy to click on that RSVP link. So I think that should be included in the flyer and in the email. And if they choose to call you instead or email you instead, that's fine. Do you know what I mean? I think. If it's an electronic method, if it's not something you have to type all kinds of letters no, and numbers I, yeah, and symbols, if you just click no, on the I know. link. No, we did that last year. We yeah. did it last year for something in the league, and as I said, I never knew who was coming. Okay. Well, we'll have to work on that part. You can have access to the results, you know, okay. so. All right. And maybe we could ask for email addresses, too. Okay. Is that it for the Equality Day then? Thanks, Joy. I think so. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, under new business, uh, all I have listed right now is that uh, our annual retreat. So, Sean, you, I don't know, you might not know this, but every year the Women's Commission used to have an annual retreat at Kathy Dennis's house, which is really nice. And we'd spend a few hours there just planning the year's programs, like a solid time, like a workshop. And so, you know, I do not live like that. And I thought it would be really nice for us to do this at the Barker Mansion. So I have reserved a room and, you know, I would love to promote the Barker Mansion a little bit more. They have free meeting rooms for all kinds of community groups. Yeah. And it's really nice. I mean, you're in the Barker Mansion, you're in a historic place, and they love to have, especially city groups, like that meet. Do you have a, a strategist or someone coming in for that, or is it just like... Mm -hmm. No, we have plenty to work on because we're going to work on our next year's plan, like what topics are we going to work on, what, what our focus is going to be. I don't think we need that, and I also was uh, going, to, going to arrange for somewhere in between. I mean, we're going to go some outside. If it's really nice, we could spend a lot of time outdoors. And then I was also going to arrange a tour of the mansion for everybody. Oh, nice. So during the thing, just kind of break it up a little bit so it's yeah. not just you know sitting in one place for that long. Uh, so I'm just kind of letting you know it's from 9 to 1. It's at Barker Mansion. Downstairs in the Purdue room, I believe it is. And uh, we'll have access to the garden. And we'll go on a little tour of that as well. So I hope everyone can make it because I asked, I think, last meeting, and that seemed to be a good date. And that's what I want for. Oh, and I have the contract. Anybody wants to see the contract? But I just had a sign that, you know. Yeah, I have a copy on the car. Yeah, so um, that's about it. All right, Dalia, are we bringing food? We've always, always had a pitch in. Yes, you know. I'm sorry, I should mention yes. it. I, yeah, I'd like to have kind of a little bit of a potluck so if everyone would bring something small to eat. I mean, it's not a really long period of time, so we're not going to be voraciously hungry, but <laughs> like maybe a, a snack. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe a snack if everyone would bring something small to, uh, you know, contribute, not, you know, finger food or something not mm -hmm. too messy because there, there's a kitchen but I don't think we're gonna have access to the full kitchen so and you can't use that sink either it's, it's a little bit difficult I remember that right. we used to have to bring everything in ready so, to go and so everyone I bring a refillable water bottle oh and then if you bring your own water so I might bring a couple of gallons of drinking water they actually do have a little bit of a problem with their pipes being one of the yeah. oldest buildings mm -hmm. in the city yeah. so they they don't drink the water from the tap so if you would be mindful I would remind people I might bring a couple of gallons of drinking water so I can refill your refillable bottles yeah. maybe we should bring our own coffee too or... mm -hmm. yeah we'll figure something out like that so mm -hmm. all right that's about it so uh, we have council liaisons coming so Sean do you have anything you would like to share I like this time so all right <laughs> Uh, did that person we nominated for the Youth Commission ever? Well, I was just asking through? Faye about it, so uh, I'm not sure if she's been sworn in yet, but that will be the next step, and uh, all the paperwork gets into the clerk's office, and we'll be getting that meeting scheduled, the, the first meeting scheduled, and then... Are you talking about the young lady? Mm -hmm. I did my best. I did my best. Because when she left here, she was very concerned about how she was going to get everything in mm -hmm. and if she was going to be able to do it. So I tried. I called several times. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think, I think okay. everything's great. And uh, I know that they received a letter from from you guys as far as uh, letting They received a letter saying who it that was. That you Right. Yeah. And I understand how challenging it is, at least for me, for the Sustainability Commission, we have, you know, three, you know, three years. middle school and high school, and all their email bounces because they they can't use their high school uh, email, gotcha. so we're trying to get, you yeah. know, another email address for them, So it, and in the summer, so it's very hard to get in touch with them, so yeah. I totally agree. All right. got to make a note to get a different email. Try to ask them for that, because uh, I've had trouble, because the school does not just allow anyone to email the students at their school email address. Mm -hmm. All right, Commissioner Commons, does anybody have anything to add? Faith, yes. anything? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go around the circle. Somebody said yes. But uh, you can go ahead if you want. Oh, I don't have anything. Okay. I don't think I do either. Um, yeah. I mean, just that the Art and Nature um, series opens this Saturday, um, which we help support the film project. Um, oh, let me see. You got it. <laughs> um, so it's the the it's going to be amazing. The film projected on the barn is just absolutely 
um, beautiful. And then we have performers from the South Shore Dance Alliance performing. Um, wonderful young students. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited, and I hope you guys can come. It is just a suggested donation, so anyone can come for free as well. Anybody else? Bonnie? Anybody? Nothing. Mm -hmm. have another one. Oh, yeah. You can have we are one more. You can have no. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sick is amazing. All right. Okay, Dahlia, right. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. Um, I received. Yeah. I. Well, let me say. Um, I received a call. I guess it was like it was right after I saw Pat too, Pat Boy, and she gave me a whole box of league stuff. But this is something in addition. It was dropped off at the clerk's office, and they contacted me to see if I could pick it up. Um, I was going to be in the building anyway. I had another meeting here that night. But this is uh, from the General Assembly, and it was actually signed off. It's a resolution. Um, that was signed off on, in um, April, if I'm not mistaken. The date is on here. And um, it's um, a resolution um, celebrating International Women's Day and recognizing the essential role of women in history during Women's History Month. And all the signatures are here. It's a very lovely document, very beautifully printed and presented. So. Um, I'm not quite certain what we'd like to do with this, but it's something worth framing. I just don't know where we could keep it. Um, is it directed towards our commission or just like a general announcement? Well, the note on it said, Women's Commission, Joanne Inquist, with my name spelled wrong. But, uh, <laughs> well... So I don't know, but Pat did not mention anything to me when I saw her when she when she gave me the. If we get her framed, we put it up here in City Hall. That's somewhere? what I was thinking. You know. What do Anyone you else? think? <laughs> I would say put it here somewhere. Yeah, I'll pass it around. It's really quite beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And all the signatures are there. And So, I don't know, should I contact the mayor and see if, or something? Or yeah, let's find out if they will hang it here and then maybe we can uh, write, drop it off to get framed and uh, hang it up. Yeah, let's find out first if that's, you know, how, how, yeah, what the that, process is. Mm -hmm. There's room on this wall, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think we just have to ask for some yes. here that, I could use, that we could use for the 19th Amendment celebration. Mm hmm. There's a whole history of women in this state included on this. Including yeah. people we know, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. So why don't, why don't you hang on to it then for, for that reason? And then we can inquire if the city wants to well for the history I, part of it. I was wondering too if it's something that we could use next March too during International Women's Day, you know, make a next formal really you yeah. know a formal presentation mode or something. Maybe pet oh no, that's during the session. But but you mean for International Women's Day? For in, that's what, in that's March. Okay. Yeah, right. March. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, March. I would 8th. say show it off for every chance you get. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, next year is going to be such a big year yeah. for the, the league. It's 100 years. Yeah. And the league locally, it's going to be 100 years the year after. Our league, our league is almost 100 years old. Wow. wow. It, was, it was the Michigan City League at that time. Not the uh, County. Hmm. Okay, any other commissioner comments? We're at commissioner comments. Okay, we're almost done. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I will entertain uh, a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second it. All right. We'll see you on August fifteenth then. August 10th. 10. August 10th. Uh oh. Strike that then. Is it 10th? Don't forget that. Oh, well, yeah. August 10th for, for our retreat. retreat. You mean Sorry. retreat? Yeah, for the retreat meeting. Retreat is the next. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad for paying attention. Yeah, next oh, we're meeting still is having the a meeting on the 15th. <laughs> you know that.
Do we really need a meeting on the 15th? We have a retreat on the 10th. No. 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 Right. Let's fix that then. Thank you. Thank you for the point. Did you motion that one? Did you motion to? Yes. 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 Did